Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and in this video we're going to spend a few minutes exploring some of the effects features in Native Instruments Tractor DJing software using the Control S4 DJ controller. We're going to assume you have a handle on the basics of digital DJing, and instead we're going to focus on some of the more performance-oriented techniques that will take you beyond simply playing back tracks and let you unleash some of Tractor's powerful effects. These are techniques that the Control S4's tactile interface with Tractor Pro makes simple and intuitive. Let's get right to it. Tractor has two effect sections and each can be used in either of two modes. Chained mode and single mode. Let's begin by checking out chained mode. Just like it sounds, this mode puts three different effects in series, or a chain if you will. The first knob here controls the blend between the dry or unaffected signal and the output of the effect section or the wet signal. The following three knobs default to effects parameters that also effectively control the amount of the effect. The buttons below allow you to choose which of the effects you want to engage. So let's play around with some effects and see what we can do. We've got a track playing in deck A, and let's route it to effect section 1 by hitting the 1 button underneath the gain knob here. A quick glance at the screen tells us that the first effect in the section is a delay, the second is a flanger, and the third is a reverb. Let's put the wet dry blend right in the middle so we get a 50-50 blend of dry signal and effect. I can engage the delay with this button and then I start dialing in the amount of effect I want. As I turn the dial we hear more of the delay and we also hear the feedback amount increasing as well. Flanger is up next, yep it's working, and the reverb is also working. Now similar to what we heard with the feedback on the delay, as we dial in more of the reverb the size of the reverb gets larger. So one technique right off the bat that sounds great is simply dialing in more verb on a track and then shutting the effect off with the effects button. One of the great things about the effects button in Tractor is that when I switch the effect off, it stops sending signal to the reverb, but the reverb continues to decay naturally. Let's check out how it sounds. It's a nice sounding reverb, and as I increase the verb, you can hear it pitching the signal down a bit as the reverb time increases. If I go the other way, you can hear the reverb pitch up as it gets shorter. A really neat way to use this when you're mixing is to dial in more and more reverb during a break, and then right before the beat kicks back in, turn the verb off and hear the reverb decay out over the groove. It's very dramatic. Another neat way to use the verb is in conjunction with the filter. In this example, I set the reverb to its maximum amount and then use the filter knob to filter in the effects. By moving the knob all the way to the left, I have the low pass completely engaged. Just a little low frequency rumble goes through. Now if I don't want those rumbling lows, then I can just pull out the bass with the EQ here. Now when I swing the filter back to the center, we get a little filtered in reverb throw. If I dial in the flanger here before the verb, it's even more fun. Remember also that you have this wet dry blend here on the first knob. So with some of these effects, you may want to hear some of the dry signal, but in others you may only want to hear affected signal. We don't have time to go through them all here, but Tractor has a lot of great built-in effects, so by all means experiment. Try different effects and different combinations of effects. It's really fun. Earlier, I mentioned that Tractor Pro for the Control S4 has two effects modes. So far, we've been looking at chained effects, but for more detailed control over the parameters in an effect, we switch to single mode by hitting the mode button. This means that in the effects section, instead of three effects in series, there is now only one effect. The wet dry knob has the same function, but now these three knobs control different parameters in the single effect. Let's see how we can use them on the delay as an example. To scroll through the effect types, I hold the shift key and hit the button beneath my wet dry knob until I get the effect I want. With the delay loaded, now I see that I've got three different parameters in the effect to play with. Filter, feedback, and rate. So now even though we only have one effect, we have more control over it. In this instance, the filter control is really useful for us. We can use it to filter out the bottom end of our delay throws. We can also change the feedback and the rate for additional on-the-fly thrills. Let's check it out.
One way to use these kinds of reverb and delay throws is as a way to transition between different types of tracks. Let's say you've been pumping out a set of tech house tracks at around 126, 127 beats per minute, but you want to change it up and move into something completely different. Maybe you want to drop it down to like 101 beats per minute or something like that. End your faster cut with a dramatic reverb throw, then bring in the new cut as the reverb decays. Hopefully, this gives you some idea of the effects options here. The powerful combination of Native Instruments Tractor software and the hands-on control the S4 offers gives DJs some really exciting ways to ramp up their performances. For more information on Native Instruments Control S4 with Tractor software or any of our other DJ controllers and accessories, visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. Thanks for watching.